Todd, first and foremost, how are you feeling physically, mentally ahead of the, the end of season running there? Yeah, feeling good. Um, obviously had an unfortunate injury at an unfortunate time, but um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling good. We've had uh, some good training, some good training days. So yeah, I'm feeling in a good place now. Can you give us an idea of how the players view the opportunity in front of you in these these final weeks? Yeah, I think there's an excitement. I think the excitement comes from the fans, but it comes inside as well. Um, we know exactly what's up for grabs, and um, obviously we've had our hands on one and. You know, it's it's pretty obvious that we're playing for the other two as well. So uh, yeah, we're excited. Still work to be done. I imagine a lot of people will still maybe put Celtic as favourites, given they had the success in the league last year. What do you think can be decisive for Rangers in this final stretch? I think probably the most important thing, and you probably hear this answer all the time. It's probably not the answer you wanted, but it's just the next game because um, I know there's not loads of games left, but things can still change quite dramatically, quite quickly. Um, so I think the important thing for us is to, to tackle the task of Hibs um, tomorrow, which won't be an easy game. Um, and then look forward to the, the game next weekend. Can I ask you what your reaction is to the news that we're going to get bigger away allocations for the Old Firm games coming up? You've got a taste of the fixture. How much are you looking forward to, to getting it with bigger crowds down the line? Yeah, I think it's a game that means so much to so many people. You know, I think you should have fans from both sides in there. I know it's not been as easy as that. Um, and obviously those decisions are made way above me. But um, I think, you know, having fans, away fans in the stadium, as long as everything is safe for everyone in, in the stadium, I think it's a great thing to have. The position that you're in now going into the run-in, did that seem quite a long way away when you look back to October, November time? Um... I don't know. The manager's not really allowed us to look that far ahead, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's a good thing to do because, like I say, so many things can change so quickly. Um, a result one weekend and, you know, everything can look different. So I think for us at, at Rangers Football Club, we should be fighting for everything and we should be, you know, going for, for every trophy that's up for grabs. So I think it's our expectation to be where we're at. And you're talking about not looking too far ahead. I think a lot of maybe the external talk will be about the game that's taking place next weekend, but still three points for, for every single game is this game just as important yeah of course it is um, you know I think we, we we need to win every game that we play now um, it's as simple as that we've got to expect that, that they will try and do the exact same thing and I think that should obviously provide quite a good game next weekend because you know both teams um, want and need to win it so um, you know if, if if we don't concentrate on the task ahead of us tomorrow then you know, we'd, we'd be absolutely furious with ourselves that we were looking past it. You know, Hibs are a good team. They play good football. They've got some good players and we really need to respect that and uh, and play the game that we've got tomorrow. The European disappointment out of the system? Um, yeah, listen, Europe, the teams that you get to play, um, the opportunity it provides, yeah, of course it's disappointing. Um, but, you know, I think everything happens for a reason and, you know, we went out of that game, um, you know, and... We gave everything we could. Obviously, the boys played played really well uh, away from home. They're a very good team, difficult side. Um, and on the night, we just weren't good enough. And, you know, in football, that can happen sometimes. Well, a couple of weeks since you last played Tibbs, what are you taking from that? Yeah, um, I didn't play myself, but I watched it. Uh, Hibs are a, a good side. They like to play good football. Um, they certainly try to. They've got some good players. Um, so, yeah, we, we need to respect them. We need to be careful um, of their abilities and... Uh, yeah, like I say, we've got, to, we've got to have full respect and, and look forward to the game tomorrow. Does it play a part at all that you know you can go top tomorrow with the victory? Does that influence you, boys, at all? Or is it, you say that, and game's all focused? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's quite obvious. Of course, we want to be top of the league. Um, but we want to be top of the league at the end of the season. Um, if we're top of the league tomorrow, that's great. If we're not, then I don't think it's decisive. But I think the important thing for us is that you know, we want to be top of the league from game week one to the very last game week. So, yeah, it's obviously, it's a desirable position for sure. And that game against Benfica, the previous one, was the first time that you guys have failed to score under come up. Does that just show how ruthless the team have been going forward that that's the case? Yeah, I think we've been in a good place. I think we've had some really difficult injuries. Um, I think if you look at the list of injuries we've had and, you know, what the managers had to deal with in terms of players playing in positions they probably wouldn't normally play in, um, you know, we've we've had that. We're not we're not sat there complaining about it. We're still in a good position. We're still playing for for some important important trophies this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, it also shows that Benfica are a good team, which we know. Um, but also we had chances, so it does come down to us. And 
know, I'll be looking forward to, to getting Ibox working again tomorrow. Last couple, guys. Todd, the manager moved you back into the number 10 position sort of early December. <coughs> were you pleased with that? Is that where you see yourself playing or how pleased were you with that, your form between then and the, the injury? Yeah, I was pleased with that. I, it's, for me, it's my best position. So um, when it comes to, you know, Todd being the best Todd, I think that's in that position. Um, however, you know, as a 26-year-old that plays in a very good team, you need to be able to play in different positions. I think that's important. Um, you see that globally. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to play wherever the manager will play me. But do I believe that's my best position? Yes. Last question. What conversations did you have with the manager about that? Did you can go to him and can you make a pitch for it? Or did he just come to you and say, no, this is how it's going to be going forward? Um, I don't think you can expect me to confess my personal conversations with the manager, but um, yeah, it was a nice try.